had made 11 burglary arrests in the past 28 days. Still 95 burglaries, that's way too many. One burglary is way too many because how can we sit here and tell that one person who's out to burglarize that burglaries are down and it's not a problem. It is a problem all of us. Um, I broke the burglaries down in a little bit of time that I had um, today. So there's 95, 12 of them were vacant houses. Two of them were domestic related. 22 commercial burglaries in the Southeast District. That's a lot. We all know we have a lot of businesses, um, but uh, it's still, it's, it's way too much. And interestingly enough, um, Lieutenant Colburn, myself, and Major Garrity were down in um, Harbor East after we had a rash of some burglaries down there. And we were walking around talking to some of the businesses, the business owners. Is anybody here from Harbor East? Um, what they told us, Questions that we've asked every one of the store um, owners, managers, workers, was why do you have all this stuff right in the windows? They are actually told to keep their doors open to invite the public to come in. They don't want to put grates or anything, which I understand, on down on the businesses and the fronts when the, uh, the businesses are closed. How can we better protect that? Anybody have any suggestions for us on that? I mean, other than we know the manpower, we understand that, and um, we increase patrols best we can in those particular areas. But does anybody have any input on that for us to help us? Would you describe that again? Would you describe it again? What Absolutely. It is now? Absolutely. The commercials in Harbor East, the commercial locations, the businesses, the stores, they're being told by the, what was it? Harbor East Leadership Magic. Development, what are they, what are they called? It's like a management company. Right, to leave their doors open during businesses. Bill, did we not walk into the jewelry store? Um, we did. During one of the meetings. The silver store. And so it's right there. I mean, it's, you walk into the door. It's several hundred dollars right, right there. Right there. The, the door. The city sports it, so they leave the doors open. All of them. All Every one of them. Because they want to have that welcoming. And I understand that. We understand. They but want you to make, they want the public to feel comfortable. Exactly, yeah. exactly. And we understand that. But they've hired their security, they've hired security where I see them early in the morning when I'm running through there. They've got the handcuffs on the back and walk light blue Correct. shirts. They've got them positioned and walking all through there. Right. I don't know if that's helped. It has. You it know, has. But I felt Any kind of uniforms down here, it is a yeah. deterrent. It's I mean, I think it's Like better. we talked about the last meeting about burglary, mm -hmm. whether you have an alarm system or not, I wish they could put a sticker put that up in your window that says you have an alarm system. It's mm -hmm. a deterrent. So the burglar is going to go to that next house, not yours. Mm -hmm. Chances are, you know. So there's different little. Are places. they? Um, what's attracting that to come down there? I mean, like when they first opened up, you didn't have that element. So what has changed to bring that down? There? Well, that could be a number of things, honestly. Something that the, um, people are starting to realize that it's, it's easy pickings. Yeah. You know, it's crimes of opportunity, just like with a lot of our robbers. Have the restaurants been bothered down there? Not to my knowledge. Yeah. Not to my knowledge. But so then again, saying, those restaurants, I'm sorry. So you're saying rather than having a door that's shut that someone mm -hmm. has to pull or push open, mm -hmm. it's just. These doors are wide open. Open sesame. Yeah, yes. Yes. Mm -hmm. um, Anybody got any questions on that? Shut the door. <laughs> well, that's yeah, what we really. suggested. That's what we suggested, but what were you met with, though? You know, that's so not. Well, the owner says it's okay. It's okay. It's okay. And they're glass front buildings. Glass window, glass door, another big glass window, then the next business. Six thousand so dollars. in the middle of the night, oh. when the truck pulls right. up, smashes that window, and you have, you know, a hundred purses at five hundred dollars a piece or in the back of the truck and they disappear because they don't want to create the appearance that it's a problematic area so they don't want steel grates or roller doors and things that, that, that could stop some of that. So as much as we understand that wanting that, that appearance of Harbor East is a very upscale area, it's beautiful down there, it's close to the harbor, there's also a, a more practical problem with, with having all these glass front businesses with Expensive merchandise right on the other side of a piece of glass at four in the morning, 
but we also have to deploy our resources to areas where we know we're prone to have shootings or murders and things like that, and mm -hmm. that life has to take priority over, over profit. So we're, we're dealing with it, we're trying to balance that as best we can with our staffing with midnight shift, and we have seen a decrease in that area since we deployed small shift midnight shift. So having rates would turn away the people who are paying six figures for the kind of minimum. I'm assuming that's the thing. Yes. That I believe is. Well, what in that?